everyone, this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. Today I am participating in the DIY Mummies Outdoor DIY and Decor Challenge and I wanted to include some summer dollar store DIYs but since I can't go to the dollar store right now, I'm just searching through my craft stash for some dollar store objects that I have left over from previous projects or stashed away and I'm going to see if I can do something with these to spruce up our outdoor space. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. And if you want to see all of the videos in the DIY and decor playlist, I will link that in the description below. Okay, let's see what kind of modern summer DIYs I can come up with. So for the first project, I'm going to use this little wooden box thing that I got at the dollar store once. It has these four little boxes you can take out for storage and organization and I'm going to take the boxes out and use the remaining piece for a little DIY. This guy was a little bit rough on the edges as you can see so I'm quickly just going to sand down all of the edges before I stain the wood. Remember the little boxes that were inside of here? I'm also going to repurpose those and use them for another project. And since I had two of these, I'm going to grab six boxes and show you how I'm prepping those as well. I want to use the boxes for a kind of vertical garden planter situation on the back deck. So I'm going to start by drilling a hole in the bottom of each box so that it has some drainage if I put plants inside. Now that I have both my boxes and the outside container ready, I am going to take my ebony black gel stain, which I will link to in the description below, and I'm going to stain the insides and outsides of all of these boxes. Then once the stain was dry, we took some time to varnish each of these pieces since we knew they would be sitting outside and we wanted to protect them from the elements. We used a clear matte finish in a polycrylic which I will also link to in the description below. Usually a polycrylic needs a couple of coats so you can let the polycrylic sit on the piece for about an hour or so before you put a second or third coat on. Also, the polycrylic, when you're done putting coats on, needs about 24 hours to dry before you start using it regularly. To finish off my first project, what I wanted to do with that outside of the container was create a nice utensil caddy by adding some handles. I already had these leather IKEA handles which I'll link to in the description so I decided to use those on the outside of my caddy. The handles already come with everything you need to attach them except the drill so we just drilled a small hole on either side of the caddy for one handle and did the same thing on the other side for the other leather handle. And here's how the utensil holder turned out. I absolutely love it. It's the most modern one I've ever seen and it was only a few dollars to make. So I was really happy with how it all came together. Now we can go back to these little boxes that I had and finish my vertical planter. 
I'm gonna hang them using this scrap quarter inch piece of plywood that we had in the shop. And I actually did all of the measurements for this before I stained the pieces. So I measured it so that I would have two inches on either side of the boxes and two inches above it, and then about one inch below it. So the total size of the piece that will back three boxes is six inches by 16 inches. Then I used the table saw to cut the plywood down into two of these rectangles. Then I sanded down all sides of both boards so they were nice and smooth on all surfaces and spray painted it with a good exterior safe spray paint. In order to hang the planters, I first needed to put some holes for my screws at the top. So I put one on either side, an inch from both edges of the board. Next, I had to attach the boxes to the boards. And since the boards were really thin, I decided to attach them using a construction adhesive. I just made sure I had two inches above each box and between each box, and then glued the boxes down. Then as I was setting up my second board to glue them on, I realized that I had glued all of my first boxes in the wrong direction. So I actually meant to glue them this way so that the clean edge of the little boxes faces out, but I didn't and because of that I wanted them to look the same and be uniform, so I turned these ones around and glued them the same way as the other set. When the glue is dry, you can use the holes that we drilled to attach your boards to the wall. I attached them outside on our privacy screen and I love how they turned out. I filled each of the boxes with some herbs that we'll actually use and I think it looks beautiful on our back deck. My third DIY summer decor project involves one of these little wooden frames. I've used these frames before, including in last year's summer DIY projects, which I'll link up top if you've never seen before. I started by cutting a point into one of the scrap pieces of plywood that I used earlier, and then sanding the plywood down on all sides. Then I painted the stick I had made and the picture frame from the dollar store with an external paint that I had on hand. You could use stain for this as well. I just used external paint because I knew I wanted to put a stencil on the frame and I thought it might stick better onto the paint rather than stain. If you haven't guessed it yet, I'm using these to make a sign specifically for my garden. If you have nice hand lettering, you can probably do this by hand, but I do not. So I created a couple of designs in the Cricut design space and used my Cricut to cut out a stencil. If you've never used a Cricut to make a stencil, I will link a post up top that will show you exactly how to do it. Once I had the stencil cut out, I used some transfer tape to attach my stencil to the picture frame and then used some little dabbers to paint within the stencil. Then my final step of the project was to use some wood glue to attach my stick to the back of the frame. And here is how it looked when it was done. I am planning to put it in my garden actually, but we don't have anything coming up in our garden, so I put it in my front planter for now to show you what it looked like. 
My final outdoor summer decor idea involves these little houses from our dollar store. It is barely a DIY, I'm just decorating them a little bit, but I'm still going to include it because I thought it looked great on the patio. All I did for this project was sand down any of the rough edges and remove the hardware from the back and then I stained it the same color that I stained all those earlier boxes and varnished it to protect it from the outdoors. And then all I did was put a candle inside to create cute little modern lanterns for the patio. They're perfect for those battery powered candles. I don't have any on hand right now so I put these candles in temporarily but I love how they look on the deck. That is it for today. I hope you liked these four summer DIY and decor projects. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!